disillusioned with mankind. Why aren't you? Well, uh, I guess because I met Ayn Rand, because before her, I was a bitter uh, person. I, I, I was very much like Dominique. I thought it was hopeless to be an idealist and that the world was going to destroy anything good. But gradually, you know, from her and study, I realized that the reason the world was this way was the influence of philosophy and above all of the big philosophers, the big three, as I call them in my book, Plato, Aristotle, and Kant. Uh, and therefore, it's no use even focusing on mankind and illusion uh, or, or disillusion. Uh, you, I just see my battle as me against Plato and Kant. And I don't have expectations. Uh, and uh, if you meet somebody good, and, and there are many people with good traits despite uh, their ideas. And then uh, you, uh, you live, your, your emotional life is, is with them and with yourself and your values. You still fight, but uh, you don't spend your time walking around and saying, oh, I'm so upset that people are not what I hoped. You can't do anything about it. And probably at this stage of the game, they can't do much about it because that, there's no way for them even to figure out what is corrupting them. Uh, I, they still have free will, but there's a limit within which it cooperates. And if you say to me, well, how can you substitute a few f uh, people for mankind? My answer would be every one person that you like, that you value, uh, uh, that means something to you, co counteracts one billion bad people, uh, the vast, vast, vast majority of which you'll never come in contact with.